Well, more breaking news coming in Times Now has accessed an ATC statement where the ATC says that it was advised by the airport control via telephone to ask pilots on approach takeoff to exercise caution after five unmanned objects were spotted over the Mumbai airport airspace on Saturday evening, which were reportedly radio controlled parachutes. We've got Vipul Saxena, an aviation expert on the phone line with us. Uh, uh, Mr. Saxena, this of course is being deemed as a major security as well as a safety uh, breach, but what kind of hazard could this have posed to aircraft that were either taking off or landing at the time? Uh, see, any, any, any flying objects uh, in the path of the aircraft or in, even in the vicinity of the airport where the aircraft is flying at low, low height, it definitely poses uh, uh, security threat, safety threat to the aircraft. The other question that is raised is how could no agency have any inkling of uh, this because for some time at least no one seemed to know what these objects were. There, were, uh, there was talk of the fact that they could perhaps have been Chinese lanterns and then of course they realized that these were radio controlled. Yeah, I would, I would say it's a total uh, intelligence failure because this kind of things uh, definitely intelligence would have known about it. Or if it is uh, officially permitted, then uh, some authorities uh, would have known about it. So to my knowledge, to my understanding, this was definitely uh, something, uh, I wouldn't call it a uh, parachute. So it is supposed to be uh, free-falling and land while this is a flying object. So I would call it an unidentified uh, flying object, then uh, a parachute. Especially when uh, this was flying uh, against the wind direction. That means it was very well uh, under control by some controller. Hmm. Also joining us on the phone line uh, is our National Affairs Editor, Shrinjoy Chaudhary. Shrinjoy, it is very clear that the government is taking this extremely clearly. A joint uh, inquiry is looking into this. But what are you picking up as far as the investigations are concerned? Well, as far as uh, the Navy and Air Force are concerned, both are involved in the investigations. What we have also heard that initially it was felt that they could be adventure tourists. Now we know that these are unmanned parachutes. So why would someone release unmanned parachutes unless there was stuff in them or uh, this was some kind of faint attack or something like that? So there is a big question on this. The only thing we know now for certain is that they are unmanned parachutes. So this was definitely not some uh, adventure activity or adventure tourism activity as it's being called. So now who released these parachutes, what they had, is something that is still being looked at. Both the Navy and Air Force are involved in the investigations. We also know that the intelligence agencies have been alerted and they too are involved uh, in trying to find out who actually was responsible for the release of these five or six parachutes. Now it is very clear uh, that uh, this was a planned thing. Whoever was responsible for it planned it in a certain way. Now we have to find out is what we are hearing from uh, everyone concerned is who actually was responsible for it. Now, uh, Shrinja, also what are unmanned uh, parachutes like this usually used for? If you could shed more light on that aspect. The only thing they could be used for, uh, unless it's a, a deliberate uh, attempt to scare people or something, is, is it to drop supplies. Now, if six parachutes are being used at daytime to drop supplies, now, who are these supplies for? And why is it that these parachutes are being dropped only for this? I mean, if you have to give something to someone, then there are better and uh, le uh, a more sort of less visible ways of doing it than doing it with a parachute uh, in a, a very urban, a very congested area. So that is the question that people are trying to find out. If you're going to drop supplies to people, there are better ways of doing it than from par with parachutes. And then again, the parachutes would have to be released by a plane from somewhere. Now, who had the authority to release these six parachutes is not clear as yet.